How is it possible that some hypnotists or healers of any type, of any sort, can make someone fall into a trance extremely fast just by looking at them for a few seconds? For many years I was fascinated about this concept and looked for how I could develop that skill myself. In this video you will learn what I have discovered over the years about how to make people go into a trance extremely fast and how to make them reevaluate their thoughts, ideas and life directions maybe in ways they had never anticipated before. First of all, some theory behind how your eyes can make people go into a trance even without you knowing and for sure without them knowing in many instances. You have known that in your life sometimes you just cross somebody's look and you immediately go quiet and calm into your head because you just get absorbed, almost fascinated by what this person says. It is pretty much something that happens anytime you encounter a highly charismatic person or somebody who has a presence, both men and women of any sort of any type, people who have this charismatic sense and can make you feel at ease and can make you feel more relaxed in their presence. You may be familiar about this concept called the map is not the territory from neuro linguistic programming, nothing big new here. And it is talking about the fact that your cerebral cortex is constantly reinterpreting reality. What you see around you is not may not be what somebody else see and what your interpretation of the events around you may not be the interpretation of somebody else. You may have your opinions, your point of view and somebody else will not agree with you in many cases, specifically when you talk about politics or religion or anything that shouldn't be mentioned on YouTube. That being said, <laughs> the idea is that you can also project your own map of the world from the inside into the psyche, into the brain somehow of the other person. This concept has been outlined into so many religions, so many spiritual practices over the centuries, uh, even thousands of years ago. It was already talked about how can you influence somebody's mind with a strong intent coming from you. And science is backing that up more and more as the years go by. But in many books or theories they will just tell, oh, have a strong, maintain a strong intent and you will make people go your way. Well, yes, that is the final outcome, but they never really or seldom give you a specific how-to recipe. And I was kind of obsessed with those how-to. Okay, just be confident, just be yourself. Yeah, how? I just don't know how to do that. The same happens with the powers you can develop with that strong, projecting a strong intention into the mind of the person you talk to. This is something that is definitely real. However, it is pretty tough to find a clear procedure for how to accomplish that. The idea is if you are hesitant, even in a therapy context when you want to hypnotize a client to make them change their perception, to make them go deeper in a trance, if you are hesitant yourself, that will transcend through your eyes, through your whole nonverbal posture, and it may come across as not legit. And what you say may not be received properly by the map of the world of the person listening to you simply because you did not believe in it yourself enough. The idea is that with this third eye power, you can influence, look into the third eye or like the in the same place, in the same spot, the other person in front of you and influence their thoughts and more importantly, before you influence them, figuring out what is really hidden beyond, behind their limitations, behind the wall, the ego they put out in the world, what they want you to see, you will kind of see beyond, behind that, who they really are. It may even make you think you have supernatural powers sometimes because you will notice so many things that other people don't notice and they are, they are like, what do you think about this person? And you're like, well, I really don't feel like this person is uh, some, somebody to be trusted and they, they would be like, but why? He seems so legit. But when you have developed that higher intuition with this third eye or with the, the better eye contact procedure, you can develop that sense of how to spot people from the inside, how to figure out who they are from the inside. And that is kind of what create all, all the influence. Because when you can really see who people are beyond deeper below what they want to show, you can say exactly the right things and you will spot thoughts, 
that you may not even be conscious of, but your mind will catch once this canal is open, your mind will catch so many clues, thoughts, ideas, opinions that you may not even be aware of consciously. Therefore, your language will adapt naturally. And if you go to hypnotize somebody, you may adapt your induction, you may adapt the way you phrase your suggestions without even knowing why, but just your gut instinct, that's another way of calling that, your gut instinct will have been telling you, no, not this way, that way. Uh, more confrontational or this time more permissive. It will just become apparent when you look into people's uh, soul, I mean, there's another concept behind that, looking through their soul, who they are, the deeper side of themselves. When you can speak, look, first of all, see what is hidden and then speak to that part of them, that deeper uh, side of themselves, then your language will naturally alter itself so that you influence them more deeply. And when I started using that method, I noticed cur very curiously when I was focusing in the right way with my eyes and looking at the right spot in their eyes too and noticing which sensations was I getting at the moment where I was looking specifically at the at a specific spot around their eye surface, I noticed my voice was altering and they were getting much more focused as I spoke, whereas it happened to me many times before that I speak and no one listens, or um, they listen for like one minute and then they don't even reply to me. But when I was developing that strong focus myself, what happened is that people got way more focused with me because you go first, all principle. If you develop an intense focus with your eye contact first, people will respond only if you are patient enough. If you do that for three seconds and then you evaporate into your thoughts and get worrying, then they will do the same thing. But if you are maintain for long enough that strong sense of focus, at some point people will go into a trance just by you maintaining that. And when you maintain that state, of focusing on their eyes in the right way without getting aggressive or trying to be manipulative and sneaky. No, just relaxed, noticing what you spot from their eye contact. What can you see behind their eyes? What do they want to hide? And from there adapting and noticing that you can stay calm, fixated, focused, and at some point they will do the same thing, which means you will create a stronger connection with their mind and they will start acting more authentically. Or maybe they still try to not be authentic, maybe unconsciously they try to hide something, but you will see through that. And you will definitely, if it is a narcissist, you will spot that a mile away because you will see what they try to hide. And the narcissist is always trying to hide their real intentions because they want to manipulate you because that way they can get what, you, what they want out of you at your expense in many cases. You will see through that shit extremely easily. They won't be able to touch you or bother you in any way anymore because you will see them coming from a mile away. When I started using that third eye concept with people in, um, in therapy, uh, in coaching, I noticed Many times they were reevaluating their perception of their, so their map of the world. They were reevaluating um, re what they thought was stuck in their lives, even without me sometimes directing the, the conversation. Many times I do the language patterns, I adapt, I use slide of mouth. Of course, I do that a lot. In the beginning, when I was not advanced yet, with the language patterns, with sleight of mouth, with all of those things, sometimes just the right gaze into their eyebrows was enough to make them reflect. Specifically, if you pose and you let them process, you say something or like you ask a question or they say something and you don't respond yet. You're like, and you wait for them to process something. And if there has been some rapport built already, which is obviously easier if you use that eye contact technique, then they will start reevaluating many things from themselves, from their lives. The one who can hold eye contact the longest without speaking is the one who is running the interaction, basically. And you can develop that skill on your own with the information I have just been giving you right here. If you already have, you know, a lot of techniques, you know about the many things, maybe you can develop that on your own. And if you want me to help you, to guide you step by step, as I said, I could never find a fucking step by step process when I was trying to find a way to develop that. They just said, develop a strong intent, get a strong intent, be confident. Yeah, but how do I go from being insecure and not really being sure of what I say to going, oh, just confident. 
fake it till you make it may work on simple behaviors but not on a whole identity on a whole strong sense of self that's more complicated so i have developed a method i have prepared a four video lesson four video lessons that you can find down below if you're interested if you want want me to guide you by the take you by the hand basically guide you through all the steps and noticing where you are what can you do as soon as today to develop that sense of assertiveness whenever you look at people and can communicate freely and authentically and powerfully what you want to communicate without any shame without any fear of what, they, what are they going to think being at ease with yourself when you look at people into their into their eyes and saying clearly what you want to say without any distraction there is a very simple mental process i have been giving you down below you may know about nlp strategies basically i have codified that process into an nlp strategies with a certain visual component and other component components you will find if you decide that you want me to help you with this and i have added a hypnotic track which is definitely what i was lacking when i tried to develop that on my own in the beginning a hypnotic track to listen just before you enter a session if you are a therapist or just before you enter any sort of um, challenging situation a hypnotic track to set your mind in the right state and develop that third eye from the inside it can be really tough to do that just by yourself if you don't have any sort of experience in meditation in self-hypnosis if you have never been hypnotized by somebody who was competent because some people say they will hypnotize you but they don't really have they only have basic skills and it may work but it's not like really um, that are useful so the, this hypnotic track is something you can listen to every day or like just before you enter a session or more specifically after a session i know if you are a hypnotherapist yourself it may be tough sometimes to just get out of a session still having your mind loaded and overwhelmed by what you had to discuss during the previous session because some people come with their baggage uh, tons of emotional wounds it may be difficult to sort through all the <laughs> the mess and then you have to change to get right away onto a next session with somebody else and get into the next thing that can be really tough mentally so this is another way of using that hypnotic track if you follow the course it is about using it just after you have been into a session with a client to unload to speed out all the maybe potential negative energy you have been accumulating during a session it can happen with a, a client who is really in desperation it can be tough to unload so this will also help you with this if you struggle sometimes to clear out your mind because in the end the whole third eye a hypnotic gaze all of that presupposes you have a massive clear calm quiet focused mind at the moment you speak this is difficult to attend to get to if you have if you don't have any sort of method to clear out all the garbage one metaphor i like is everybody thinks about uh show getting in, into the shower uh shower shower every day like every morning or every evening but nobody really thinks about washing the inside show you know shower from the inside all the thoughts all the anxieties all the garbage all the the um, maybe the confrontations verbal confrontations you may have uh, endured yesterday today with your uh, wife with your husband with anybody all those things accumulate and if you never get the, uh, clean the, uh, the clean the trash basically at some point you try to focus on somebody and you just can't because your mind is too cluttered with too many worries too many things so that hypnotic track i have developed specifically to that extent it is a 15 minutes one with the, the song in the background that is uh, that was designed by a sound engineer to really ease down your anxieties ease down your mind it will help you to clear out your thoughts whenever you need it and be much more present and focused with the person you want to hypnotize in which case they will go into a trance fast because your mind is already there you can trigger it on your own uh, whenever you want and from there they will go into a trance really fast so if you want me to guide you through this process there are four video lessons down below in the description on the first link i will be glad to join i will be glad that you join me on this adventure and i will be glad to help you if you want my help and then i will see you in the next video anyway thank you for listening <music>